Hi guys, this is Rishab Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, we will talk about update query in PHP. Guys, update query is used to update some data from the database table. So this is our database table. You can see the name, role number, email address. Address. Suppose if I want to update anything, like if I want to update my email, which is Rishab at gmail.com. If I want to update my email address, I can use update query. So we can use uh, we can update one column or we can update multiple columns at is at a single time so firstly we will update just one column which is email so we will write our query it's the query will be mysql underscore query then in between these two brackets we will write our query so it is the update query so we will write update and after that you need to write table name the table name is students record updates students record then we will use set statement here set then after that you need to write the name of the column name then equal to its value which you want to give to it so the column name is email equal to I want to set its value to means I want to make my new email address which will be rishab1 at gmail.com so I'll write rishab1 at gmail.com now guys this is our query but we need to write where close as well because if we will if you will not write where close it will update all email addresses means it will make all the email addresses to rishab1 at gmail.com so it is mandatory that you need to write where close so you will write where roll number means I will use this uh, roll number uh, for the condition where roll number equal to 101 so update students record set email equal to risha1 at gmail.com means set email address to risha1 at gmail.com where the roll number is 101 now we will go to browser and refresh it now we need to go uh, come to uh, database again I will click on bridge browse button you can see rishab1 at gmail.com now guys what I will do I will use if statement here means it will tell us that the, that the records are updated so we will use if statement outside the query if means if the query is working we will write something so I'll write record updated now again I will change this email address to Risha12 now the email address is Risha1 now we will change it to Risha12 I will refresh it you will see record update it means if the query is working then it will return show this message now we will go to uh, PHP my admin click on this browse button you can see Risha12 at gmail.com now guys you can update more than one column at a time now suppose you want to change email address of Namit and address as well what you need to do firstly we need to change the roll number in the condition which is Namit's roll number is 102 so I will write 102 here now I will write the query from the start means I will write the query from the beginning update students record set email equal to I will write nm at gmail.com comma the name of the second column which you want to update suppose I want to update update his address so I'll write address name of the column address equal to write Canada you can use uh, write uh, update more columns as well you can use just need to use comma and then column name then the value which you want to give to it so after that we will write where uh, roll number equal to the Namit's roll number is 102 102 now we will go to browser and refresh it record updated browse you can see nm at gmail.com and address is Canada means in this way you can uh, update the data now guys we will do one more thing we will change the grades of students those students who have marks more than 300 so 
I will again write the query from the beginning. I will remove this query. I will write up. I will write update students record set. The column name is grade. We will change the grade according to the marks. Set grade equal to A plus plus where marks greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 300 means update the grade of those students who has who has secured more than 300 marks update students record name of the table set grade equal to a plus plus where the marks are greater than or equal to 300 now we will go to browser and we can use the alert message here means we need to write javascript inside uh, php so we we'll use script tags here and we will use alert message here it will display an alert message record updated guys you can check I have used double quotes outside so you need to use single quotes here uh, for the alert message otherwise if you will use double quotes then it will think that this line is finishing here so we will use single quotes here now we will go to browser and refresh it you can see record updated ok now we will go to browser oh sorry php my admin, my admin browse you can see these three students have more than 300 or 300 marks then the grades are updated a plus plus so means in this way this update query will work guys we will uh, do this uh, update query practically in the project in upcoming videos means we will use i will tell you that how can you use update query in your projects so guys if you still have any question about the update query you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see the next tutorial